100 acres that includes a 22 acre lake. An 88,000 square foot athletic center and pool house. The American Hebrew Academy is an $84 million asset. Now that it's closed, what happens to all of this? WFMI News 2's Adoria Tumba spent the day looking for that answer. The main concern is where 80 workers and more than 100 students will go. Now, Temple Emanuel and the Greensboro Jewish Federation are making resources available to the families affected. And Greensboro Day School says teachers and students can apply for jobs and enrollment on their website. A Florida Hebrew school also extended openings to students and a former student set up a GoFundMe page to help out. You want to donate the money to the staff to help them and help ease their transition. Now, the second question, what's next for the property? Now, we reached out to the Academy's management to find out the next steps. We asked if they'll rebrand or put it up for sale, but we haven't heard back. But leading Greensboro real estate developers say with the school's closure, the property is now one of the most attractive in the city. Roy Carroll said while it isn't a suitable site for the Carroll companies to pursue, the site contains valuable site improvements that are likely too valuable to demolish or repurpose. The site was built specifically with a school in mind, so we reached out to High Point University to see if they'll be interested. President Nido Cabane said, We are saddened by the closure. High Point University and American Hebrew Academy have a long-standing relationship as educational leaders in the triad. The university has no plans to purchase the property. Now, the Academy's letter to staff and students didn't hint on a future, but community leaders acknowledge losing the school is a big blow.